Hello everyone, I am Sendhil. Welcome to Sendhil Smart QA Hub. In this section, we are going to start with understanding of uh, history of the play rate, what is play rate, features of the play rate, limitations of the play rate. Now we will see the first history of the play rate. The play rate was developed by Microsoft and released in 2020. A group of play rate developers previously worked on the Puppeter project at Google. What is Puppeter? Puppeter is an automation framework and works for only Chromium browsers, not for other browsers. So to overcome these limitations and these developers of Microsoft created the cross browser automation tool called PlayRate. So it will support the Chromium, uh, include WebKit and Firefox browsers. Next we will see what is PlayRate. PlayRate is a free and open source automation testing tool for web automation testing and we can run it headed and headless mode. What is the meaning of headed and headless? Headed means it will open the physical browsers and script will be executed. Headless means no GUI and it will not open the physical browsers and run it. And next to one play rate developed by Microsoft company and PlayRate supports the testing for web browser application, mobile web application and API testing. PlayRate is compatible with modern web browser like Chrome, Edge, Safari and Firefox. And it offers multi-language supports including JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java and J Shop. It supports multiple operating systems such as Windows, Max, and Linux. Next, next we will see the features of the PlayRate. First one, it supports the multi browsers. So we can run the PlayRate automation scripts in different modern browsers like Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. Next, it supports the multi language. So we can write the automation scripts in different supported languages by using what are the languages JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java and C Sharp. And it supports multi OS such as you can do the cross browser testing on the Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Next one. We can test for the web browser application and mobile web application and API testing. And PlayRate has uh, different types of the built-in uh, reports. And you can add the custom reports like Azure reports also. And PlayRate has auto weight mechanisms for performing the actions on the element, loading the web page and finding the element of the web page. It is faster uh, because the play rate is faster than Selenium and Cypress automation tool. Uh, it will support any CI CD tool like Jenkins, any container platform like Docker, it will support. And, it, and play rate has recording, will record using code gen and it supports debugging scripts. PlayRate inspector used to identify the element of the locator. Trace viewer used to track the each and every steps of the execution in the report. Next one, uh, parallel execution used to run the scripts very fast and it supports multiple cross browser testing. Next, PlayRate has inbuilt accession to validate the expected value with the web page. Next one, PlayRate has less flaky test. Flaky means sometimes the uh, scripts will get failed, sometimes the script will be get passed. So here there is no flaky test. Next one, test retry. So PlayRate provide the retry for the failed scripts and provide the option to get the screenshots and video of the test execution. Next one, storage state. 
storage state used to log in the state so it will skip the login steps for each scripts to save the uh, time and focus the test on the core functionalities of the application uh, what is the use of this one to focus the test on the core functionalities of the application we will see the limitations of the playwright playwright doesn't work on the IE legacy browser and it doesn't support the testing for mobile application and desktop application. 